Hi again. Now in this video we're going to be looking at how to password protect pages. Now in previous videos we have looked at how to use a session to, um, to access a, uh, an admin or control panel page uh, and we've done this by uh, posting a username and password to a page and then checking to see if the username and password combination exists in our database. Now um, that's all well and good, we're setting that session and um, as you can see here if I log in um, I can now access a control panel um, and obviously this is the, the finished example. If I go to my add category page you can see I can access that and in, in the URL you can see our address. If I just copy that though and log out now if I try and access that same page again, now that this admin session is not set, you notice it just redirects me back here to my admin page. So there is a little bit of code on that add category page that is checking to see if our admin session is set. And that's what we're looking at today. So in Notepad, our first step will be in our cPanel, control panel page, just to add a link uh, to that, that new page. So uh, a new paragraph and link to it as always index.php which is our shell page that's where we're link, linking to the page we are loading into the main content is going to be called add category and the link text I'll just put it as something like add new category okay save that um, so that is the link going to it. Our next step then is to create that page. I'll save that as add category. And this has to be .php. All right, and a little bit of text on there to show us what the page is actually doing. There's our uh, header. Now before we display anything though, what we should have is that little bit of code that checks to see if the user is actually logged in and it's not someone trying to access this page. So what I'll do is um, I'm going to check to see if the user is logged in. If, if not, redirect to admin page. Okay, and the way we're going to do that is with a quick if statement just checking to see if something is not set. So there's the exclamation mark for the is not set and the thing we're checking is the session which we called admin in a previous video. Now if that's not set we're going to set a header and redirect it back to the index page. So location index.php and I'm going to set page equals admin and obviously you could send that to any page you wanted. Um, the only thing is because we're checking sessions we do need to actually start the session on that page so just up there above that I'll just put session underscore start and that way sessions are running so we now can check to see if it's actually has been set in this particular one called admin if not redirect back to the admin page so uh, all going well here if I just go to the right site if I log in just to confirm that that add category page exists, there it is. Add new category, it's the one we just created. Uh, if I right click on the URL and copy that, and now just log out, and I'll go to the home page just so you get a visual feedback here. If I right click now and paste in the URL of the add category page and try to get to it, notice it redirects me straight away to my admin page and prompts me to try and log in. So uh, it's up to you whether you consider that secure or not, but um, you know, maybe it's better to redirect you back to the, the home page. I'm not sure, but uh, there you go. So that gives you a, a way of actually protecting a page. Um, it's not particularly robust, but it certainly stops you, your regular person trying to get at these pages. So anyway, that's everything for today. From this point on, now we're gonna be looking at how we can um, use our control panel to make changes to our database. Um, I'll just show you what's coming up. Um, oops. We're going to work our way through the, um, the menu here. We're going to start by looking at how we would add a record to our database using a web form. 
um, then how we might edit an existing record and also then how we would delete a record um, and then we'll get onto the stock items as well so uh, that's all that's coming up but thank you for listening today and I'll see you next time